What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing some organizing for our homeschool stuff. We got all of our curriculum that I went over two weeks ago in a vlog. So if you haven't checked that out, you can check that out here. And I will link it in the description as well. But what I'm going to do is just kind of start cleaning up our room because the kids were playing. I have a lot of our curriculum that we just got kind of sprawled out all over the table and everywhere. And so we're gonna organize all of that move some stuff around and then bring you along for basically the whole process and then I'll kind of walk you through the end result of what is going where, what we've moved, how we're rearranging in preparation for not just homeschooling two kids this year but adding in our third. We'll go into that a little bit more as well but I can't wait to bring you along for this and share. I had a lot of good feedback from you guys when I had asked what you guys wanted to see first and organizing all of our homeschool stuff was your top pick. So with all that said, let's just get into it. issues that I am having when it comes to organizing I always seem to get stuck on is where to put the bins I have so many like I have all of these bins for the kids I have all of our bins here and then the gather ones that go on the bottom here I have my morning basket and I don't know where to put everything because obviously we don't have like endless amounts of space and I've already kind of used the majority of this room up and I want it to be in a place where they can get to them easily in the morning but i'm also have like i'm i don't know i'm messing with it still so like i said you're in the process with me as i figure this stuff out but like i'm thinking about keeping their morning menus in here but i might not because i like i can stack them with these little like you just fold them up and then you can let's see you fold that well it's in the way but you fold that up and then you can stack the other bins on top of them and so i'm like do i do that i don't know we're gonna figure it out. But with that said, I did wanna talk about this one thing. So one thing that I wanted to go over, not in too much detail either, is um, our like schedule, kind of a breakdown of like how we're going to spend the days. Honestly, this last year was kind of like a trial and error um, of what things would work, what things wouldn't. And honestly, I think in different seasons because we're kind of rotating through doing different curriculums throughout different seasons, it's going to inevitably change. But one of the things that I wanted to talk about that isn't, or I'm hoping isn't going to change, is ugh, my morning basket. One of the things that, even though it may not seem like it, I mean, it really isn't like initially tied to homeschooling, um, I feel like when I have my quiet time in the morning in any way, shape or form, before the kids even wake up, my day goes smoother. I'm I just my heart posture is checked and in the right place and my perspective is realigned with like what we're doing and why we're doing it and just giving you yeah the right perspective for it all. And so it seems silly but it really does make an impact. And for me, I wanted to make sure that while I'm going through all of this that I'm also setting myself up for success to make sure that I am the best mom I can possibly be and bringing the best version of myself to the table with them every single day. So I'm not going to go into great detail about this. If you guys want more details about like what's in here and everything, I can definitely do that in some way, shape or form, whether it's on a TikTok video, a blog post, a YouTube video, whatever, let me know. But having a morning basket is 
super important for me. And I keep all my stuff in here, but Sammy keeps like his Bible in here too. And I have different things like um, Bible plans and stuff. And I have things that have nothing to do with the Bible. I've got my like market list and everything if I'm making meal plans or a grocery list and whatnot. So there's a lot of things in here, but I want to organize this as well and then find a spot for it. So morning baskets definitely going to be included in this process of organizing and prepping everything for our homeschooling stuff. But figuring out where to put everything is the struggle that I'm facing right now. So I'm gonna think for a bit and then come back. And I think what I'm gonna do is probably show you guys more of what this looks like after I get it organized. I think I'm gonna do a lot of like rearranging and moving things around, but right now, I need a minute to think. So I've got my tea. I'm gonna take a step back to kind of see everything from a different perspective. All right, guys, we are back from the farmer's market. It is Saturday. I stayed up late last night trying to finish organizing everything and I got a good chunk of it done. Now, I don't have everything in the entire house organized and prepped for the school year, but what I had said is I wanted to go through and share the organization of like the curriculum and the stuff that we use, which is going to be the majority of that will be in this section and that's what I completed. So my plan is, is that moving forward in the next couple of weeks as we get closer to starting our homeschool year or our next season of homeschooling and everything, I will do an updated homeschool room tour. And with that, I will show you kind of the little adjustments and things that I'm adding, changing, shifting, all that stuff with like the rest of the space in here in regards to like maybe adding something to the chalkboard or rearranging the books on the bookshelf and possibly reorganizing the um, dresser that I have for all of our school supplies in the closet, little things like that, but nothing that really has to do with like the majority of the curriculum and lessons and all of that. So before I dive into anything and show you all of that, I wanted to walk through kind of what the plan is that I have in place right now for our school year ahead. So what I'm planning on doing is year round. And with that, we're going to be separating our subjects quarterly and kind of, yeah, seasonally. So what we're gonna do is, I kind of broke it down per kid, but this is what I have right now. This is the plan that we're going with at least for the first like month or two to see how it works. And then we'll make adjustments moving forward. But I'm also planning on doing is going through and at the like beginning and halfway point of the school year, I will do updates of like organizing and how things are going and walk you through like what our schedule looks like now and everything. But this is the gist of what we're going to be doing for autumn and winter. So we have language arts. We're going to do Monday through Thursday with the big kids. And then with Ziki, because I don't know how he's going to do with like curriculum and I'm trying to keep it more play centered versus lots of workbooks and stuff. We're just doing language arts, his preschool curriculum, Mondays and Wednesdays. And again, we're going to go at his pace. So I'm not really concerned with like how quickly we complete it or anything, but with the big kids, I want to complete our language arts and math curriculums in fall and winter. I'll explain a little bit more in a sec, but so language arts and math will do Monday through Thursday. And then the nature study fields and flowers from little hearts and hands. We are going to do on Mondays and Fridays. Um, our safety unit, which is a unit, a science unit study from the good and the beautiful. We're going to do that twice a week. And then we'll have like little bits of Bible, just kind of like devotionals every single morning, but we'll do more of like a lesson for the Bible on Fridays, as well as poetry tea time on Fridays. And then we'll have extracurriculars that are sprinkled in when we decide what we're doing and what days we want to commit to. This is kind of the schedule that I have put in place. I'm thinking about starting like a co-op for our nature study. So either having a couple friends come over here or meeting at a park, but then that way it's very loose. And if we wanted to just meet on Mondays and Fridays or just Fridays, we'll see what happens. But that's kind of the schedule for now. We're going to see how it goes. Wish me luck. But with that said, I'm gonna walk you through everything now so you know what we have in place and then it'll kind of make sense as I explain like what curriculum's out, what lessons are out, all of that knowing what our schedule is gonna look like. So if you've seen any of my videos before the homeschool room tour, then like this isn't looking much different. And that's kind of the point. I didn't want too much to change, but a few things that we've got. So I'll just kind of run through everything that we have. So we have our gather four cushions here. I've got my diffuser. This is a little visible timer 
and then you have the option of sound and no sound when it goes off. But I like having this because having that visual for like whether we're setting a timer for the Osmo or cleaning up or whatever, they have that to see and go off of and it's helped kind of avoid a lot of tantrums and fights because we agree to a time that we're setting, they know and as soon as it goes off, they know what to do. We have our Yodo that we got this year. This is the like regular size. I've seen a lot of people that have the mini ones. I've heard lots of good things about both. We only have a few cards. I bought this pack and then a little um, Lego pack, but my intention is to get a few more as kind of like back to school shopping as well. This is from Chickadees. I went through and pulled out a lot of the fall supplies that I have for sensory play and Play-Doh and all of that stuff. A few things. I have this out here for read aloud time because my intention is to get through this book probably in the first month, I would say, once we start, because we started it again a little bit and then just summer plans, you know, life gets busy. So we have this, that will be our read aloud book and then we'll just swap it out once we find more. And then we have our devotional Bible and then some little booklets and stuff from Daily Grace Co in here as well. So that is basically, it. Then we have the Google. That's everything on here. All the same stuff up here. I promise I'm going to fill that up and propagate plants this year. I didn't do it this year, but I'm going to do it now. And then we have our bookshelf where I'll have like poetry books, probably whatever books I have that, that are like on theme for our nature study. Or that will go there. And this is what I feel like the majority of people came for. Everything that we have in here is curriculum that we're using and like i said because we're going to be swapping things out once we're done with language arts and math we will substitute that for worksheets and other things that they'll be using for the other subjects that we're working on but for the time being we have our nature notebook we have our scissors workbook which i think i'm going to take out and put back in here so it kind of stays cohesive with like this isn't curriculum but this is quiet time extra stuff so we'll put those in there in a sec but then i have the language arts books, the handwriting book, and the math. Same thing for Hayden, nature notebook, language arts, math, handwriting. Zeke, we have his folder for all the preschool stuff in here, as well as this. I had a friend who showed how she used this for like different type of like very easy math lessons that she created for her little one, and then that as well. Planner will be here. I don't want to dive into this too much right now because I'm not using the same planner from the same company. I'm trying something different. So I don't want to show you details of that because it just ended up not working out for us. And then we have our morning menus, which I'm trying to update more prints for other people who have older kids to go in here, but I will share more on that as well later once I have those up. So that's everything for the top shelf. The middle shelf is all language art stuff. So I have our booster cards, our booster books, our nature reading books. And then in these two little um, cubby things. I've got different types of like resources and stuff that we have for language arts. So we've got, this is a lid for one of the kitchen containers from Ikea. I just took the plastic off of it, but you can use that to just rest one of the flashcards on there. I've got all of our kindergarten toolkit flashcards in here. You can't really see everything, but <laughs> numbers, days of the week, months of the years, letters, all that stuff. We've got sight word. These are dice in here. We've got our dash into learning, our tiles with ABCs, and then our wooden blocks from this and that co, as well as this is just a little stand Oops. for cards. So like the cards that I showed you out of that basket over there, if we were doing something and focusing on it for the week, I would just put it in here keep it up there so we'll keep that up there for now that's it for our language arts shelf and then down here is math nothing too crazy we've got our math box for math 2 math 1 a white bird that goes with the math 1 box and then two little these are just the signs and then these are the number tiles as well both of these are from tree fort toys so we've got that we have all of our cards in here so i have a lot of like pip and j cards i've got like the solar system the united states tons of stuff in there and then our like bible cards so like the fruit of the spirit the armor of god and little things like that so that's in there because we're trying to keep that accessible for like day-to-day -day stuff this is going to be our nature study bin so whatever we're doing nature study wise this will be in here my intention is to have a nature study lesson no matter what the season is. So while we are alternating with subjects, I want this to be something that we are constantly diving into. 
in little ways. It doesn't have to be massive. So I have right now our fields and flowers because that's what we're focusing on first. I have our Julia Rothman collection in here. And then based off of what lesson we're working on that specific week, I will have books from the library that will probably be in here to go along with that as well as keeping them on the bookshelf above in here i'm going to have a lot of our like sensory play stuff that is based off the season if i have things that we might be doing in regards and relation to the nature study i will put them in here as well but for the time being i just have all of our seasonal stuff so this is all the fall stuff as well as the sensory stuff that i have up here for fall and then the manipulatives i have as well that are fall Esque as well. So you've got like the mushrooms, the acorns, and the apples. And here, I don't have all of this stocked yet because I'm still ordering some of our back to school stuff, but these are just a lot of like workbooks and things. I've got a gratitude journal, a leadership journal, Bible coloring pages, and then some coding stuff. So these are just kind of like extra things for quiet time or while we're doing some read aloud stuff, the kids can get into this. So it's not specifically like curriculum, but it's things for them to work on that's still related to what we're doing. Then a lot of this is very similar to what I've had it as before. All of our Osmo stuff is in this bin. Nothing's changed there. This is our science and, well, actually it's mainly science, but then I have our Spanish books in here too. But this is all the science stuff that we're gonna be going through this year just at different times. So I have all that kept in here. And then we have these booklets for Beckham too. In here, we have lots of other workbooks that I have from Modern Press Kids and Pip and Jay. We've got our Kindergarten Toolkit Workbook. Just all these other little things. A lot of these are ones that the kids have already completed, but since it did kind of count as like preschool resources, not really curriculum, I wanted to keep these on hand just in case I needed to have some type of proof of records. And then in here, this is just holding the curriculum that we are still completing right now. So once we're done with that, then obviously I will put these away and then find something else to go in here. But for the time being, that's gonna hold these. So they're kind of out of the way, but still easy to get to. All right, so that is it for today's vlog. I have a little bit more work to do in regards to organizing and prepping some back to school shopping that I still need to do, restocking of our supplies and stuff. So with that said, in a couple of weeks, probably like mid to late August, I will have an updated homeschool room tour for you guys to see kind of the things that we've moved around, added, shifted, all that stuff. And then next week I will have our Ikea homeschool must-haves for you guys as well. For everyone that is getting prepared to doing their back to school shopping and everything, I'll just share a few of the things that we have and love from Ikea specifically. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop any comments if you have any questions. Feel free to DM me, let me know. I will do my best to answer them. Make sure that you are subscribing and I will see you guys next week. <laughs>